Marcos Trust Rating Up, VP Sarah Dips in Latest Okta Survey. The trust and performance rating of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. improved, while Vice President Sarah Duterte's numbers slipped in the latest results of the OCTA Research Survey, released on Tuesday, the second quarter Tuganing Masa TNM, survey showed that 71% of adult Filipinos said they trust Marcos, which is 2% higher than the 69% recorded in the first quarter, for Duterte. Her trust rating went down to 65% from 68%. It must be noted that this is the second consecutive quarter that Duterte experienced a decline in her trust ratings, continuing the slide since the fourth quarter TNM survey conducted last December 2023. Okta said, it is also noted that this is the first time Marcos has registered a higher trust and performance rating than Vice President Sara Duterte Carpio based on TNM surveys in the last three years, Okta added. Meanwhile, around 68% of adult Filipinos were still satisfied with Marcos's performance, which is higher by 3% than the 65% recorded in the previous quarter, for Duterte. Her performance rating declined to 60% from 64%. It is noted that this is the second consecutive quarter in which her performance ratings recorded a decline, Okta said. Marcos received his highest trust and performance ratings in Balance Luzon with 80% and 74%, respectively, while his lowest trust and performance ratings was in Mindanao with 56%. Completely opposite to Marcos, Duterte obtained her highest trust and performance ratings in Mindanao with 95% and 92%, respectively, while her lowest ratings were in Balance Luzon with 52% and 42%. By socioeconomic class, Marcos received his highest trust and performance ratings from adult Filipinos belonging to classes ABC with 74% and 71%, respectively while his lowest ratings were from Class E with 66% and 64%. Again, unlike Marcos, Duterte obtained her highest trust and performance ratings from Class E with 68% and 65%, respectively, while her lowest ratings were from Class ABC with 64% and 56%. The survey was conducted from June 30 to July 5, 2024 and done through face-to-face. Interviews of 1,200 male and female respondents aged 18 years and above, according to OCTA. Optus said the survey has a plus or minus 3% margin of error at a 95% confidence level. For the subnational estimates for the geographic areas, Metro Manila, Balance Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao have a plus or minus 6% margin of error. The TNM survey results are released as a public service by OCTA, Fallout, on Tuesday. A group called BBM Youth Movement issued an apology for encouraging its members to vote for Duterte. Nung Nakaran, in a kalanamin na majijing magandang halimbawa ng isang public servant si Indi Sara Duterte. Sa pagnanize na supportahan ang pangako ng bagong Pilipinas, Nagan ganyo kami sa inyong supportahan at aboto siya, umwisa na majijing mabuting lingkod bayan, the group said in a statement. We previously thought that Indi Sara Duterte would be a good example of a public servant. As we aim to support the promise of a new Philippines, we encouraged you to support and vote for her, hoping that she would be a good public servant, ngunit, sa kasamang palad, Napagtanto namin na ito ay isang malaking pagkakamali. Kami ay humihinji ng inyong panganawa at patuloy naming ipaglalaban ang MGA Principiang Tapat at tunay na maglalingkot sa bayan, alinsanat sa bisyon ng bagong Pilipinas, it added. Unfortunately, we realized that this was a big mistake. We ask for your understanding and we will continue to fight for principles that are honest and really serve the people," 
In accordance with the vision of a new Philippines, GMA News Online sought a comment from the Office of the Vice President, OVP, and will update this story once it responds. It could be recalled that Duterte first issued an apology to the members of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, KOJC, on Sunday for pushing them to vote for Marcos as president in the 2022 elections. Duterte made the remark as she condemned the gross abuse of police power in serving a warrant of arrest against Pastor Apollo Quiboloy at the KOJC compound in Davao City on Saturday. Kayanai's KO Ring Huminji ng Kapitawaran S.A. Laha ng Mayembro, Deboto at Bumubuo ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ, S.A. Pagaket at Pekiasap KO S.A. in Yang Aboto S.I. Bongbong Marcos Jr. Nung 2022. Nawe Mapatawad Nino AKO. You deserve better. Filipinos deserve better, the vice president said in a statement. That is why I am asking forgiveness from all the members, devotees, and all those who are part of the kingdom of Jesus Christ for encouraging them and appealing to them to vote for Bang Bang Marcos Jr. in 2022. I hope you will forgive me. You deserve better. Filipinos deserve better. Duterte was Marcos's running mate when they both ran during the 2022 polls. However, two years after they were elected thanks to the Uniteam Coalition's successful campaign, the country's top two officials seem to have become estranged due to a series of issues, including confidential funds and drug allegations. Well, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Please let us know on the comment section below. Whose celebrity do you want us to feature next? Thank you for watching FASN News Channel.